So introduce yourself to us, tell us where you're from and what your involvement's been here today. Uh, I'm Simon Johnson, I'm owner of Marmalade Jewellery, uh, it's a small independent uh, fine jewellery shop in Chiswick in West London. And Ruth asked me to be on the panel for the how to make an in uh, di difference in store okay. design, something. <laughs> So talking about making a difference in store then, obviously a lot of people here listening to the tour, what were the top take home messages that you, you want them to get from what, what you said? Um, people need to understand that the, there needs to be a point of difference uh, in, in the retail environment, it needs to be special for the clients, they need to get the experience of the theatre um, in, in, to get people from outside, from, from in front of their computer. Um, a lot of people now are, are missing the fact that they're not just selling boxes and brands, because you can get those online. The experience in store needs to be uh, arresting, it needs to be eye-catching, it needs to be different. The quality of knowledge and experience needs to be amazing. Really good point there. What's been your biggest success then with the business you're involved with? Tell us about Marmalade, what's been your greatest success? Uh, oh. Um, <laughs> And you're caught a curveball. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, well, we were, we won the Independent Retailer of the Year in 2007. Uh, we've had a, been fortunate enough to get a, a number of uh, accolades in terms of inspiring independent. Um, we were on the Bearing Power list last year, um, and those are all really amazing. And we absolutely love getting the awards. Um, I think in terms of the greatest success is going from. Uh, where we were, which was essentially a fashion jewellery shop, into a respected bridal boutique. Um, and yeah, I think we pulled that off. Well done you, hats off. Um, do you th what do you think needs to be improved on at jewellery and or watch industry? Does that make any sense to you? We'll move on. Tell us what you're hoping to achieve in this year then. You've obviously got lots of accolades and lots of successes as you've explained. But what's the key focus for you in 2015 as a company? Uh, we are going to make the website work properly. We need to get the uh, knowledge base and the co-browsing system working so that the in-store, the online experience is as close as possible to the in-store experience and give the extra value. Um, we need to get our team, uh, two of them are doing their um, gemstone diploma this year and then one is ready to go on to her valuers qualification. Um, we've got um, uh, matrix on Gemvision so we're going to have the design in-house as well. So. Um, yeah, quite busy. Yeah, some big plans. You mentioned there about some of your team, some of your staff. Um, is improving them and working with them and bringing them on to the best they can be, is that, is that quite crucial to your business, the people that you work with? It's the only reason people are going to come to the high street. It's the only reason people are going to enjoy the experience, is to get, to get the knowledge and get the, uh, and get the interaction and the experience from the well-trained team. Um, every single time, you know, learners are owners, they have to keep learning to have to be better than the guys next door. Is that really key then, investing in your team and, and bringing them on? 100% without doubt. If you don't invest in your team, you, it's, you're going to struggle. Is there anything that you know now that you wish you knew before you started out? Um, yeah, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> so. I love this. So not connected to the company, not but keep your wife happy and everything else will everything fall into else place. Is fine, yeah, absolutely like fine. This, probably lots of people can also. Yeah, absolutely. That yeah. As well. um, okay, what are your top tips for buying strategies then? Anything that you can pass on for people? What, what's key to you? Again, I, we don't buy brands. We look at individually. We look at the, the products and try and arrange it in a way that I think the customers are going to be shopping. Um, so, in buying tips, I, I suppose it's more about sweat, sweating your stock really to make sure that you're not sitting on dead stock and try and turn it as quick as you can. Um, and if, it's, if you bought badly, don't sit on it badly. You know, get, get shot, sell it on, and then. Yeah, make, make more money doing something else. What's well, going to be key for um, later in 2015, so spring, summer, autumn, winter, what kind of key trends are we going to be looking at? A lot of two-tone rose gold and white. Um, micro jewellery is doing okay. The little, the lots of little silver bits and pieces that we've seen in the fair today. Um, I'd be interested to see how the the non-real fine, so like the, 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 the big-looking jewellery, Silver, high quality silver and CZ does because there's a, quite a bit of that coming through. Um, but again, we'll have to wait and see. It's, it's always bridal for me. And how did you get into jewellery? Oh, family business. Mum and dad were in it. Bought the business from mum and dad 10 years ago. So it's in your blood. You were meant to do this. Apparently. So they, keep, <laughs> they keep telling me. And what do you think of Spring Fair? I mean, this is certainly a really impressive hall. We've got loads of great exhibitors here. It looks fantastic. But in terms of um, the importance for the industry, where does Spring Fair sit for you? It's important because it's a good networking site. Um, 
It's not got as much fine jewellery for me. There's an awful lot of um, new silver suppliers, and if that's the market you're in, then, then Spring Fair is really important. Um, in terms of importance, internationally, we, the shows in Baal and in Vegas um, are more important to me. So what could we do to improve here at Spring Fair then for you? Uh, I would like to see more fine jewellery, you know, better quality um, international exhibitors. You know, pe people from abroad can bring in stuff that we haven't seen before. Okay, well thank you very much for your time. Nice to take care. Nice to meet you. Thanks and you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>